So I'm about to make these gorgeous fresh strawberry parfaits that I like to call strawberry tiramisu trifles. Now the tiramisu part is what I'm doing first and I just put mascarpone cheese in my mixer and I am going to turn that on low and start letting it get creamy. And to that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. This isn't a particularly sweet dessert, but there is a little bit of sugar for balance in there. So just a tad of sugar, and as is always good with cream, a little bit of vanilla. A couple of teaspoons. That one in there, and now another. Just anticipating these trifles makes me so happy when I do this. So increasing the speed of my mixer until that blends in. And then I'm adding just some whipping cream, just some chilled whipping cream. And between the fluffy whipped cream and that sort of savory, creamy, delicious mascarpone, I am suddenly gonna have the perfect filling for these darling little trifles. This is gonna come together pretty quickly. That's the beauty of using chilled whipping cream. If it's cold and the bowl is cold, it comes together really fast. Get the rest of that in there. Crank up the machine and let it go. And just like that, we're done with our first step. Look at this gorgeous, delightful, creamy mixture. I'm gonna tidy up and make space to do the next step. Let me show you how to finish these trifles. The star of this show are roasted strawberries. That's right, roasted strawberries. It's a great technique to draw out a little flavor and texture, and it's the perfect solution for when you buy strawberries that maybe aren't as delicious as you'd hoped, well, they will be after you roast them. It's so easy. All I do is put the whole berries with the caps removed in a baking dish. Then sprinkle on some sugar to draw out their juices, couple of drops of fresh lemon juice for balance, and a pinch of salt. Put them in the oven until those berries turn tender. Look at this. They look like whole fresh berries, but they're soft like preserves. The flavor is amazing. It's only gonna take 20 to 30 minutes depending on how ripe your berries are. Let them cool off, and then suddenly they're ready for your tiramisu. This is so easy, and these delicious berries are going to thank you for your time. Now, I'm gonna add a couple of more things that are inspired by tiramisu. A true tiramisu has coffee liqueur. Don't want coffee with my berries. What I want is orange liqueur. I'm using a little bit of sweet, delicious, flavorful Grand Marnier, and I'm gonna add that to my berries. And the last part of this delicious roasted berry part is cracked black pepper. If you've never had peppered strawberries, you are in for a taste treat. This is already so delicious, it is practically a dessert in itself, but it's not the dessert. We're gonna build these gorgeous parfaits. So let me get my glasses up here. I always make these in individual portions because not only are they pretty, people love having their own individual dessert. It makes them feel special. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my cream mixture and with my little handy scoop, I'm just dropping a little bit of that cream in the bottom of each glass. This is so easy and so fast. And then I'm going to take these crisp lady fingers. They're, you could use pieces of pound cake, but I've learned over the years that I love the crunch of these lady finger cookies. And I'm gonna stand them up in each serving. The reason I put that cream down first, that's my foundation that's holding these cookies into place. And then, I'm going to spoon on some of this gorgeous roasted strawberry mixture. I'm gonna drop them down in between and divide these among my servings. Not only are we getting the flavor of these roasted strawberries, we're getting their juices, which have the Grand Marnier in also. And what that's going to do 
is it's going to moisten the bottom of our cookies so that we get cake-like bits, like a trifle in the bottom, and crunchy cookie bits on top. And now, some fresh berries. Yes, strawberries in two forms. You're going to love this little bright pop of fresh berries combined with those tender, sweet, intensely flavored roasted berries. Just poke them down in between those cookies. They're acting sort of like side walls, retaining walls now. And last, the rest of our cream. A good capping of this cream. And there we go. These trifles are done. Now I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator because we want all this to set up and get to know each other a little bit. It can be at four hours or it can be overnight if that's a better option for you. But I can hardly wait. Let me get them in there because the sooner they're in, the sooner they can come out. Oh, look at these, they are perfect. I must taste one of these. Going in, getting a bite. Mm. This is everything I love about strawberries and cream, but the berries are interesting. The cream is interesting. Down at the bottom, these lady fingers have turned cake-like, a little bit tender, but they're still crunchy on top. I can't think of a strawberry dessert that looks better than this, that tastes better than this, that is any easier to make. Strawberry tiramisu trifles. It's a winner.